laws with 9-11 are important. We've talked about this before. After 9-11, the, the laws didn't work. Like they made massive changes to respond to a new threat. And I think we have to face the fact that many of our structures, laws, and policies may not work. After 9-11, we created the Department of Homeland Security. There was the Patriot Act. There was massive change in our entire society to face the number one threat, or at least what was communicated as the number one threat. I think we need the same kind of tectonic shift. It's got to be much more than, than see yeah. something, say something. But maybe our laws need to change. Go f- yourself. For the last few years, MSNBC and specifically Nicole Wallace's show have been promoting an idea that I've been warning people about since the beginning of this channel. The criminalization of conservatives and generally anyone who opposes the Democrat Party. They're doing this so that over time it shifts public opinion to such a degree that the Democrat Party or Uniparty or whatever you want to call it can criminalize opposition to their policies under the guise of saving the earth or for your safety. Today's MSNBC segment on so-called right-wing extremists exemplifies this threat and we'll get right into it after this quick cap that we do when prominent figures or or someone from the ex-president's cabinet threatens us (laughs) you serious all right so i'm gonna have to stop and show you what these nutcases consider a threat it's literally just navarro laying out his opinion about a possible scenario based on public polling Roughly half of Republicans and over a third of Democrats believe America is on the brink of civil war. If such an unthinkable war breaks out, it will be the Democrats' fault. Oh my God! Well, right, this is the challenge because domestically uh, speech is protected by the First Amendment and that has been interpreted very, very broadly to protect almost everything that can that, you know, including things that can sound pretty threatening unless they cross over the line into sort of what's called a true threat. What? What in the world is she even talking about? That just sounds like people saying things that she doesn't like, but would like to make illegal because she erroneously perceives it as a threat. What if we perceive her rhetoric right now from her position of power and influence to be threatening to our First Amendment rights and general freedom? Well, that was different. And so we, we get more and more and more of this type of extremist language that, you know, when you take the comments you just showed of Peter Nav- Navarro, you know, he wasn't actually making a direct threat, right? He was uh, really, I think, trying to inject into the public consciousness this idea of civil war, which he has to know because we've seen it over and over and over again, will cause individuals to start talking about that on social media, to start maybe even mobilizing around those types of things. <laughs> And I'd also like to point out that MSNBC has been making these predictions, I mean threats, of a coming civil war for many years now. At this point, I do think we have to have serious conversations around preparing for actual violence. Uh, People keep saying a civil war is coming. I would say a civil war is here. It is the beginning of a modern day civil war. It is fiction. But that could change. We are in a real neo-civil war, and it's a battle between democracy versus a kind of um, nativist authoritarianism. Whatever in a movie you think this guy is capable of doing to create a civil war, he will... I know that's... I'm not speaking hyperbole. Oh, that was different. So now the segment veers off into familiar Nicole Wallace territory with her guest, Paul Reichhoff, a far left podcaster, calling for a new Patriot Act against Democrats opposition for saying things they don't like. What does that look like in action? Well, I I think there's a core point here, which is a a lot of Americans are up for grabs. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't dismiss it as just something that only people on the right are watching Fox News can latch on to. I mean, we're in a battle for hearts and minds. And there are people who are on the fence. You've got to have leaders and messages and messengers and programs that get to those people, that bring them over into community organizing and into nonprofit organizations. What? 
All he seems to be saying is that he wants the government to propagandize people into the Democrat Party. Into community organizing and into nonprofit organizations and away from the Patriot Front and the Oath Keepers. What the f*** are you talking about, man? So you're either in the Democrat Party or you're in the Oath Keepers and Patriot Front. The group that looks like it's 95% feds? You mean the group that everyone on the right hates and only has around 200 members? And that's probably thanks to the constant coverage that state media gives them, which seems pretty obviously tailored for guys guys like this to come on national TV and call for the government to crack down on his opponents. And, and I think yeah. the parallels with 9-11 are important. We've talked about this before. What? After 9-11, the, the laws didn't work. Like they made massive changes to respond to a new threat. And I think we have to face the fact that many of our structures, laws, and policies may not work. After 9-11, we created the Department of Homeland Security. There was the Patriot Act. There was massive change in our entire society to face the number one threat, or at least what was communicated as the number one threat. Now you see now, you know, fucked up, you know that, don't you? So here's this left winger who's about to promote another Patriot Act, which was never popular with people on the left or the right for what turned out to be very good reasons, who also has to acknowledge that the reasons for the Patriot Act were questionable, but he's still going to consider it anyway because he's assuming that it will never be used against him. He is an idiot. We have purposely trained him wrong as a joke. I think we need the same kind of tectonic shift. It's got to be much more than, than see yeah. something, say something. But maybe our laws need to change to respond to the fact that someone like Mike Flynn, the former national security director, is openly calling for violence consistently. You're wrong. There's already laws against inciting violence. The problem for this hack is that it's not illegal to say things he doesn't like. Over and over in this segment, they conflate people's opinions with calls to violence or threats. Neither Navarro or Flynn called for violence. In both cases, they just gave their opinion. Lots of Democrats wish for violence on Trump, and that was considered patriotic free speech. Oh, that was different. Here's what Flynn actually said. I wanna know why what happened in Minamar can't happen here. No reason. I mean, it, it should happen here. No reason. But that's right. One more. Oh my God! So that's what these people consider an incitement to violence that warrants a new Patriot Act and government crackdown on Americans who think differently than they do. And their version of democracy, there's just one way, their way proving once again that they are the actual threat. If you're interested, this segment was sponsored by Liberty. <laughs> Mutual. Don't spend your money on companies that hate you and are actively working to undermine our republic. All right, folks, that's it for that one. If you enjoyed it, please share, hit that like button, and make sure to leave a comment to vent those frustrations. Thanks again, and I'll see you all in the next one.